There are a lot of ways to discover great new restaurants. Me, I find them almost everywhere, even at the movies. Eat out more often. That voice just now, what was it? Hard to believe, but most people thought this was a baseball movie. If you eat at Bessie's, they will come. All right, that's it. I see what I mean. Anyway, this message from beyond was an obvious reference to Bessie's Garrett, a real unknown jewel where San Diego borders Lemon Grove. This is Bessie. When people come in here and they have my food, they know it's this, they tell me that they could, they could taste the love. The food that Bessie's love goes into is a mix of styles. Cajun. And country. Of course. <laughs> and so. <laughs> and there are a lot of fans. This is the kind of food you can't buy anywhere else. Oh, I love coming here. It's like you would cook in your own kitchen. Oh, oh, the gumbo. The gumbo is, the gumbo is beyond compare. And the name of the restaurant is almost beyond comprehension. Well, how people just come in, stick their head in the door and go, what's a Garrett? A Garrett is a front porch in Louisiana, a comfortable place to spend an afternoon. A couple of lemonades, sitting on the swing, that kind of thing. This is a family-run place. Bessie's son is Robert. This is Tanisha Johnson. She's my wife. Uh, that's Grandma Morgan there. Oh, I'm the cashier. I have my money. Bessie's husband is Charles. In Louisiana, that's how you select your wives. How? By how, how good they cook. And Charles chose well. Bessie's down-home cooking has made this a neighborhood favorite. Even the pastor is a regular here. Yes, he prepares red snappers just like I like it. And when the pastor speaks, the snapper better be good. So does it put the pressure on to have your pastor here? Yes, it does, because if we, if we put out a bad meal, we'll hear it on the pulpit on Sunday. But with food this good, I'm sure it seldom hits the sermon. Take the smothered pork chops, for example. The country food is not necessarily spicy at all. It's just, it's just food that sticks to the ribs. With a rich brown gravy and sitting on a bed of fragrant stuffing, a dish to remember. But there are those who go for the catfish. I'd just rather have catfish any time. Besides, I'm from Texas. <laughs> In Texas, you know catfish. Huh? I know catfish. Like Bo, I know catfish. <laughs> And yet it's Bessie's Cajun dishes that the public seems to favor. For eight to ten dollars, delicious shrimp and sausage jambalaya with greens in the side, red beans and rice, shrimp creole, and my favorite dish here, the real Louisiana gumbo. Look at all the sausage and the chicken. And the gravy. If you order the large bowl of gumbo, it includes crab in the shell, and it takes some work getting out. How do you crack them in Louisiana? Your teeth. Or use your hands if you must. Any way you do it, it's a dish to remember. Now, in spite of the big portions, don't forget the pie. Sometimes we split it. Sometimes I take some home. And sometimes I just can't resist it. <laughs> That's just the effect Bessie's Garrett seems to have on people. A little-known restaurant with a recipe for success. A teaspoon of love and just a dash of cayenne. For News 8, I'm the Unknown Eater. The shell, and it takes some work getting out. How do you crack them in Louisiana? Between your teeth. Or use your hands if you must. Any way you do it, it's a dish to remember. Now, in spite of the big portions, don't forget the pie. Sometimes we split it. Sometimes I take some home. And sometimes I just can't resist it. <laughs> That's just the effect Bessie's Garrett seems to have on people. A little-known restaurant with a recipe for success. A teaspoon of love and just a dash of cayenne. For News 8, I'm the Unknown Eater. The water glass wow. is full. <laughs> wow. But they didn't like it. Now, Ted, did you say that sweet potato pie? Do you recognize oh, that kind of pie? It. Yes, okay. absolutely. And, and okay. Cisco Maple gave it two thumbs up. Maybe. Oh, what a talk about recommendations. Whoa! Wow. I got full just watching it. But did he like it? Yeah, I think he did. Mm -hmm. He likes that kind of stuff.